Hi class, this is your mathematics teacher and in this video we are going to learn about factors, how to find out the factors, what are the common factors and much more. Before getting at the actual definition of factors, let's have a look at this multiplication sentence. 6 multiplied by 3 is equal to 18. As discussed earlier in the previous classes, the numbers that are being multiplied together are called the factors. That means these two numbers are called the factors of the product. Here product is equal to 18. But the question is why these two numbers are called the factor? Why these two numbers are called the factors of 18? To understand it better, let's divide number 18 by very first number that is 6. 6 3s are 18. Here you could see 6 goes evenly 3 times in 18. That means 6 is the exact divisor of number 18. Now I'll divide 18 by 3, 3, 6 are 18. Here you could see 3 goes evenly in 6, 18, 6 times. Here in both cases remainder is 0. That means 6 and 3 are the exact divisors of number 18. So what are the factors? Factors are the number that divide other number exactly without leaving any remainder. Here 6 and 3 are the factors of number 18. These are the factors of number 18 because 18 is exactly divisible by 6 and 3. So what is a factor? A factor is a number that divides another number exactly without leaving any remainder. Now the question is, is 6 and 3 only two factors of number 18? Exactly not. Let's find out all the other factors of number 18 starting with number 1. Since 1 is the factor of every number, 1 divides every number evenly. Let's check it out. We'll divide 18 by 1. 1 1s are 1. 1 8s are 8. Here you can see 18 is exactly divisible by number 1. Leaving remainder as 0. That means 1 is the factor of number 18. So we'll write 18 as a combination of 1 multiplied by 18. This is the first combination for number 18. This means 1 is the factor of number 18. After 1, we'll move on to number 2. 2 9s are 18. Here you could see 18 is exactly divisible by 2. We are left with two numbers here. Sorry, one number. 9 is the quotient and 0 here is remainder. We don't have any remainder here. That means 0 here is remainder. So 18 is exactly divisible by number 2. So the next possible combination for Number 18 is 2 9s are 18 because 18 is exactly divisible by number 2. After 2, we will move on to number 3. 3 6 are 18. Here you can see 18 is exactly divisible by 3 also. That means 3 is also the factor of number 18. 3 6 are 18. After 3, we will move on to 4. 4 4s are 16. Here you can see we have remainder as 2. That means 4 is not the exact divisor or we can say 4 is not the factor of number 18. Now after 4 we will move on to 5. We will divide number 18 by 5. 5 3s are 15. So we are left with remainder as 3. Again you have, again we have 3 as remainder that means 5 is not the exact divisor of number 18, it is not the factor of 18. We will discard 5. Now number 6, you can see here the first factor of the number 18 is 1, second factor of number 18 is 2, third factor of number 18 is 3, 4 and 5 are not the factors of number 18. After 5, 6 has been covered and the rest of the factors are covered from this side. So the factors of 18 here are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18. Individually, all these numbers are the factors of number 18. Understood? So the factors of 18 are factors of 18 is equal to 1. 1 is the first factor of 18. After 1 we have 2, we have 3, we have 6, we have 9, 
we have 18. These are all the factors of number 18. Now, have a look at, at all these factors. One is the smallest factor of 18 and 18 is the highest factor of 18. All the other factors are smaller than the number 18. Now, I'll consider two numbers here. That's number 12 and number 24. I'll take out all the factors of number 12 and number 24. Factors of 12. 12 can be written as 1 multiplied by 12. This is the first possible combination for number 12. 1 and 12. So, the factors of 12 here are 1. 12 is exactly divisible by number 1. 12 is also exactly divisible by the number 12 itself. Okay. Now, factors of 12. Second possible combination is 2, 6 are 12. Third possible combination, 3, 4 are 12. So, you can see these are all the factors of number 12. 1 is the factor, 2 individually, these are all the factors of number 12. Factors of 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. Now, I will take out all the factors of number 24. 24 can be written as 1 multiplied by 24. Both these two numbers are the factors of number 24. 2 12s are 24. This is the other possible combination for 24. 3 8s are 24. Third possible combination for num number 24. 4 6s are 24. So, individually all these numbers are the factors of number 24. So, factors of 24. One, two, three, four, six, eight, and twelve. Now observe the factors of twelve and factors of twen twenty-four carefully. What do you observe? Some of the factors are common to both these numbers. That means one is common to both twelve and twenty-four, two is common to both twelve and twenty-four, three is common to 12 and 24, 4 is also common here, 6 is also common and 12 is also common. These are the common factors of numbers 12 and 24. So what are common factors? The factors which are common to two or more numbers are called the factors, common factors of the numbers. So the highest among all these common factors is 12. Here the highest factor, common factor is 12. Here highest common factor is 12. So, 12 is the highest common factor of 12 and 24. To understand it better, let's have a look at this video. Factors In this lesson, you will learn what a factor is and how to find the factors of a number. Welcome to my shop. Every morning, I need to prepare a certain amount of wood for the day. Here is a block of wood weighing 12 kilograms. How many pieces of equal mass can I use to form 12 kg of wood? The first combination possible is of course, one piece of 12 kilograms of wood. One times 12 equals 12. Another possible combination is two pieces of wood, each weighing 6 kilograms. 2 times 6 kilograms equals 12 kilograms too. Are there any other combinations? That's right. If you recall your multiplication tables, 12 can also be equal to 3 times 4. These are all the possible multiplications that can make up 12. The numbers that can be used here are called factors. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12 are considered to be factors of 12. I need to cut this piece of wood into equal pieces. Each wing 
8 kilograms. Is this possible? Let's divide 24 kilograms by 8 kilograms to find out. 24 divided by 8 gives us 3 exactly. So, the original piece of wood can be divided into 3 pieces of 8 kilograms each. Hence, 8 is considered a factor of 24. Now, let's take a look at another piece of wood. This one weighs 26 kilograms. Can it be divided by 8? 26 divided by 8 gives us 3 with a remainder of 2. This means that 26 cannot be exactly divided by 8. A factor is a number that can be used to divide another number into equal parts with no remainder. Hence, 8 is a factor of 24 but not 26. Take a look at these two blocks of wood. Do you think they have any factors that are the same for both? First, let's look at the block weighing 32 kilograms. 32 can be formed by the following multiplications. Hence, its factors are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 and 32. Now, examine the second block. 20 can be formed by the following multiplications. Hence, its factors are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. Which factors do both numbers have in common? By looking at both the sets of factors, we can see that 1, 2 and 4 are factors of both 32 and 20. Hence, we can say that they are common factors of 32 and 20. In this lesson, you have learned that the factor of a number is a number that divides another number without leaving any remainder. In today's video, we have learned about factors, how to compute the factors and much more. Hope you understand the video very well. This was all from my side. We'll meet in our next video. Till then, goodbye.